السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وآله وبارك وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم All praise be to Allah Almighty and infinite salutations and blessings upon the best of all creation the most beautiful, the most handsome, the most beloved Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Upon his blessed wives, his blessed parents, his blessed family, his blessed children, and all of his blessed companions, Ridwanullahi ta'ala anhum ajma'een. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Alhamdulillah, today, it is the eighth day of the blessed month of Ramadan. Allah Almighty, accept all our fasts and our ibadah so far, and Allah Almighty grant us a tawfiq to increase our ibadah throughout the blessed month of Ramadan. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, لِلصَّاعِمِ فَرْحَتَانِ For the fasting person, there are two glad tidings. Two things which will make him or her happy. One happiness is upon opening the fast and the other which will be given upon meeting Allah Almighty yani on the Day of Judgment. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Fasting is a worship, an extremely rewarding worship, and also opening one's fast upon iftar is also worship. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar ibn As radiallahu ta'ala anhuma states that the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, the dua at the time of iftar for the fasting person is not rejected. Similarly, Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala narrates that the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, the dua of three people are not rejected. Firstly, the fasting person upon iftar. Secondly, a just ruler. And thirdly, the dua of the oppressed. This dua made by these three is fast-tracked and raised into the heavens and the doors to the heavens are opened up for them. Allah Almighty says, by my glory and my honor, I will accept your dua and aid you, even if after some time. The one who feeds fasting person upon iftar is also rewarded. The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, Man fattara fihi sa'iman, kana lahu maghfiratul lizanu bih. That whosoever feeds the fasting person, all his sins will be forgiven. And in another hadith sharif it is mentioned, whoever feeds a fasting person to his fill, Allah Almighty will quench his thirst from the hold of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam on the day of judgment, from which he will never be thirsty until he reaches his destination of Jannah. 
The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever quenches the thirst of a fasting person, his sins are cleansed and washed away to such an extent as if he or she has just been born today. Subhanallah. The companions inquired, Ya Rasulullah, is this a reward for giving water to quench the thirst at home? Or is this reward whilst travelling or quenching the thirst of travellers? Or only for the place where water is not available? Subhanallah, the mercy to the whole of mankind. Sayyiduna Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wasallam replied, This reward is across the board for everyone and everywhere. Even if one distributes water to the thirsty upon a river bank. Subhanallah. And Sayyiduna Zayd ibn Khalid radiallahu ta'ala anhumah narrates that the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said that whoever fed a fasting person or gave provisions to a ghazi he would receive the same reward as the fasting person. Sayyidina Salman Farsi radiallahu ta'ala narrates that the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said whoever fed somebody at the time of iftar with halal means the angels seek forgiveness for him or her throughout the months of Ramadan and the leader of all the angels Sayyiduna Jibreel alayhi salam makes dua for their forgiveness on the night of Qadr and in one narration it is said that Sayyiduna Jibreel alayhi salam makes Musafa with him my dear brothers and sisters in Islam just think how much reward there is for feeding a fasting person that one gets equal to the reward as a fasting person, equal to a ghazi of Islam, the angels seek forgiveness for him. Sayyiduna Jibreel alayhi salam seeks their forgiveness on the, on the night of Qadr. Subhanallah, Allah Almighty grant us all the tawfiq to feed and quench the thirst of the fasting Muslims so that we attain all of these blessings. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the time of iftar is also an extremely blessed time when the dua is not rejected, when the mercy of Allah Almighty and the blessings of Allah Almighty are showered upon all those fasting and breaking fast. But, but what are we doing at the time of iftar? Are we standing in the kitchen? Are we inspecting and commenting on how the women have prepared the food? Are we complaining that we have been fasting all day and there's no way enough cooked food to cover our hunger? Or are we sat at the table staring at the food? Are we having a staring competition with the food? Or are we busy decorating the table with food? Or maybe... We are discussing or arguing over what time iftar is today. How many minutes, how many seconds left? After all, we are all experts. In the month of Ramadan, on the timings for Fajr Salah, on the timings for Maghrib Salah, on the timings for Sahri and Iftar. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, don't waste these precious moments of the time leading up to iftar. Come, let's make a firm intention today that we will not waste this time. We will sit well before iftar. We will make dua, we will make dua and dua and dua. We will not sit idly or gossip. We will remember Allah Almighty. We will remember His blessings and favors upon us. We will thank Him. For all these blessings and favors, we will do zikrullah and we will read the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala and his blessed family. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, do not waste these precious moments. Allah Almighty grant us all the tawfiq to sit at the time of iftar and to plead for Allah's mercy and his forgiveness upon this time 
ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस क्यों रजा आज गली सुनी है उठ मेरे धूम मचाने वाले वमा अलैना इल्ल बला गुलमुबी